we want to make sure that our balance is zeroed. If we look closely, we can currently see that our balance is not zeroed. To zero our balance, we are going to turn this adjustment knob until our arrow lines up with zero. Now that we have all of our riders at the zero mark and our arrow is at zero, we will proceed to begin to measure our first object. Now that we have zeroed our scale, we're going to place our first object onto the pan. Today our first object that we're going to be measuring is a stapler. With our stapler on the pan, we notice that our arrow is well above zero. So our first step we need to do is move our 100 gram rider. We're going to move our 100 gram rider until our arrow falls below the zero. We want to make sure that the arrow on the rider lines up with the number on the scale. We are currently up to 300 grams and have not fallen below the zero. Once we reach the 500 gram mark, we notice that the scale falls below zero. So we need to move the rider one notch back. Now that we move the 100 rider, we need to move the 10 gram rider. Four hundred and fifty grams and it's still above the zero. So let's continue to move the ten gram rider. Now at four hundred and eighty grams we have fallen below the zero. So we need to move our ten gram rider one notch back to seventy. Now we are just above the zero. Now it's time to move our third and final rider, the one gram. It's best when moving the one gram rider to just slightly tap with a finger because we want the balance to be even at the zero. So slight subtle movements are best to avoid disrupting the accuracy of the scale. As you can see, we are just slightly below the zero on our scale. So we're going to bump back our one rider just a little bit. We now have our balance lined up perfectly at the zero. Now we need to add and total the three riders together. Our 100 gram rider is at the 400 mark, our 10 gram rider is at the 70 mark, and our 1 gram rider is exactly at 4 grams. So if we add the three together, we come up with a total mass of our stapler of 474 grams. And that's how we can accurately use a triple beam balance to measure the mass of an object.